Hi, I'm Alfred Poor. I'm here at the Digital Help Live Studios at CES 2019. And I have the pleasure this afternoon to be talking with David Keene. He's the CTO of Dathera Service Sciences. And David, one of the things that's the big topic around here on, at CES this year is the whole thing of digital therapy. You know, we're getting away from chemicals, we're getting towards other kinds of treatment therapies. And I understand that your company has a new product that's uh, in a digital therapy that's breaking some new ground. Yeah, our product uh, recently received uh, FDA breakthrough designation uh, for the reduction of anxiety and depression in Alzheimer's. So we're a medical device for Alzheimer's. And I wouldn't say that um, we are getting away from chemicals. I think that we're adding to chemicals to increase the size of the, the whole pharmaceutical sector. That, that's a really good point. Um, so tell me a little bit about your product and, and, this, and how it works. What's some of the concept behind it? Sure. So um, our product is both software and a, a medical device, a, a digital device that uh, is physical. And uh, it works on something called reminiscence therapy, which is the concept that looking at photos from your past, listening to music that you recognize, and hearing voices of your loved ones can calm you down. And it has an incredible calming effect, especially on people who uh, have uh, memory difficulty or, uh, or anxiety due to memory loss. Uh, in order to sort of hear those voices and, and, and experience those pictures again, um, can sort of anchor them and bring them back to a place of calmness and lucidity. Yeah, I've witnessed firsthand the power of music for those with dementia or you know, other kinds of impairments and how it can bring them back to life. That, that's fascinating. So, I'm also very interested in the fact that you, you said FDA fast track. Was that the, the, the process? Uh, FDA uh, breakthrough. Breakthrough. Yeah. And so there seems to be a lot of movement in the FDA these days in terms of how products get approved and the, you know, the process. It used to be everybody thought the FDA process was so enormous and too big a mountain to climb and so forth. But that, a lot of things seem to be changing. From your perspective and somebody who chose to go through that process, how do you see the, the, the landscape changing with the FDA? Yeah, I mean, that's certainly not our experience with the FDA. I think, um, first, the FDA is being very brave um, to look at, uh, at apps and novel medical devices and, uh, and to look at them for both uh, scientific rigor and efficacy um, as, well as, as well as safety. And um, I, it's, it's, it's interesting. I think that they are starting to fast track more things uh, through, the, uh, uh, through the breakthrough program. But what they're doing is they're looking at what's the indication how important is this to, to push forward? So um, uh, obviously Alzheimer's is, is going to become a, a national crisis um, from a cost perspective, from a sort of a humanity uh, perspective. And that's one of the reasons why uh, our product was chosen as a breakthrough device because um, the, the, the problem is just so big. And, and growing much bigger. I've seen the forecast numbers for just how big Alzheimer's is going to be. And, and one of the big problems from a healthcare perspective is they're healthy individuals who live a lot longer and yet need a great deal of health care. So, I, I, absolutely, and things like anxiety can add you know, thousands of dollars, uh, $10,000 a year to, uh, to an otherwise healthy individual um, simply because of the additional cost that that anxiety brings and how it moves them through the standards of care faster. That's fascinating. Well, thank you so much. This sounds like a great product and it sounds uh, like a wonderful mission and I feel the passion for the for, for the product and, and what you're working to achieve. Congratulations. Again, I'm Alfred Poor, Digital Health Live Studio at CES 2019, which is hosted by Living in Digital Times. Thanks for watching.